Location filming transformed film noir, made it look less like melodrama and more like the news. And by the mid-1950s, it was as street smart and as immediate as this. The most impressive scenes to me were the scenes on the streets, and there's a few of them. Um, the long tracking shots and, and using real locations and real lights and maybe even using background cars that are actually there. I'm not sure how they would have controlled such a huge space. But uh, it must have been working in incredibly tough conditions to, to get those scenes. And there's one particular long dialogue scene between Burt Lancaster and Tony Curtis that is quite incredible. And the shots are really held for a very long time. You're tracking and then the camera will come off and from one character to another and the staging is immaculate. I love this dirty town. Sydney, conjugate me a verb, for instance, to promise. You promised to break up that romance. When? You want something done, JJ, but I doubt if you yourself know what's involved. I'm a schoolboy. Teach me, teach me. Why don't you break it up yourself? You know you could do it in a couple minutes flat. At this late date, you need explanations? Susie's all I've got. Now she's growing up, I want my relationship with her to remain at least at par. I don't intend to do anything to antagonize her if I don't have to. Be warned, son, I'll have to blitz you. Frankly, JJ, I don't think you got the cards to blitz me. I don't? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think so. I'll listen for one more minute. About a year ago, I did you a certain favor. It was a thing, well, I never did such a dirty thing in my life. All right, all right, it's forgotten, forget it. Which brings us up to five weeks ago. Sydney, I got a nasty little problem here. Do so and so and I'll appreciate it. Did I say no? Was I fussy? Look, I'm the first to admit it didn't gel as fast as we'd like. But why all of a sudden can't I get you on the phone? And why, as of this date, am I frozen out of the column? You finished? Staging, lighting, and the whole, the whole mood of the piece, it feels real, but it's also got that very kind of biting quality that Noir has. <laughs> The opening of Kiss Me Deadly is, I think, one of the, certainly the greatest opening in film noir, but one of the great openings of all time. It starts on these legs, it's all about feet, really. It starts on Cloris Leachman's feet running down this highway at night, and then you see a full figure and cuts back to her feet and it's tracking, tracking, tracking. <laughs> She's trying to hitch a ride, trying to stop, stop to get a lift. And then uh, Ralph Meeker turns up his sports car. And uh, there's this wonderful, wonderful interchange between them in the car, uh, which ends with, it, it's in, basically played in two shots. There's a front two shot, which is underlit from the, by the dashboard. And, and the two heads are like low in the bottom of the 133 frame and there's this enormous amount of black in the top of frame. And then that cuts with a view over their heads where they're at the bottom of the frame also, but you see the road going away and the windscreen just lit by the headlights. And it's so minimal because you've just got this dash light and, and that boosted headlights light in the road and that's it. And it goes on like this and, and uh, it ends where she says, uh, remember me. I got your name for the registration certificate, Mr. Hammer. Get me to that bus stop and you forget you ever saw me. We don't make that bus stop. We will. If we don't, remember me. <laughs> The case started in Los Angeles in a district just off Santa Monica Boulevard. A Secret Service agent had arranged a meeting with an underworld informant. Well, the noir as a genre, it was about, you know, 
characters who were in this grim, greasy, dark world. They lived at night, they were loners, they were by themselves. There's a sort of fatalism about the sort of lighting, which you could therefore have an excuse to be very bold. It's very elemental. It's just one character or two characters or one light source. It's not, it's not complicated film noir. It's not complicated to do. I think one of the things in noir is that a lot of things are down low and shadows are being thrown up on the walls and the cameras are kind of low as well, making people taller as they come forward, they get bigger and more menacing. You decide for the audience, what they're going to see. You're not going to see any of that, or any of that lovely set, or any of those people down there. And you're going to look at those little men, and, that, and that's what I want you to look at. You have no choice. <laughs>